Good morning, George. How are you, sir? Good, good. Who's this? Um, my name's Russ, Whit Russ Whitlow. I work for Fisker. Oh, okay. <laughs> How can I help you? Well, can I pull your fingernails out and part as part of an inquisition? <laughs> I've got to ask you a couple of questions, if you don't mind. No problem. What's going on? Uh, so, you sold, or how many Fiskers have you bought so far? Four. Shoot, okay. Um, would, it be, would it be appropriate for you to share the VINs with me? Uh, what uh, for exactly? Okay, so we have a customer who we believe bought a car from you who's blowing up social media. And we're trying to track him down. That's so MKH. That's, that's, he's a famous guy. It's MKHBD. What, what's going on? Um, he's blowing up social media. He's got all the senior management from Gita Fisker down. Because he's talking crap on the Fisker, right? Yep. Yeah, I know. It's my Fisker. I right, I gave it to him. I thought he was going to like... Well, he gave me a review. So he was like, can I borrow your Fisker? His name's uh, MKHBD. He's like 12 million subscribers on YouTube. So he he reached out to us and was like, hey, can we use your Fisker to review it for a, for a YouTube video? And we were like, yeah, sure. So we, we're getting the Fisker back right now. Um, so you, you want to talk to him and see if you can calm him down or something? Well, no. <laughs> so you lent him your car. Yes. He's blown up social media. And I'm just trying to get this into the right context. So... Because I was about to completely redeploy to go out and fix this car for him and update all the software. It's my car. Um, if you want to come and update all the software, that's fine. You guys have already sent someone out to us before. Yeah, and no, Jordan. No, no, no. Ignore him. Um, nothing ever happened. It's, it's, never fixed, never it's, fixed it. It's, that's why I'm coming out. One of the senior, one of the senior field service engineers. So... All right, George. All right, so if I was to put this into a concise com a, a concise statement, it would be, if you could just share this guy's information, I'd be grateful, MKHBD, whatever he is, um, that you own the car. This guy did um, a review. The car's being returned to you. He doesn't own the car. He doesn't own the car. And, I'll, and I, will I will attend you to take care of the car in the next few days. That sort of does that sort of wrap everything up correctly? That does. I'm gonna to have to reach out to my contact and ask him if I could share his information. I don't I'm need it. If you're getting the car back, it's it's a new point. If he owned the car, it was a different kettle of fish. He doesn't own the car. You do. You're the customer. Correct. So my job is to take care of you, the customer, not a mouthpiece. Got um, it. All right. Well, I appreciate that. I really appreciate that you guys calling one and fix the car. Well, I, I see as the bottom line, we have some, we have professional technicians, we have amateur technicians, and then we got field service engineers. Um, and it's, it's like any shop, you've got A, B, and C techs as the bottom line. Yeah, 100%. And then you've got, you've got regional people who come in from the, from the manufacturer who have different ways to get information to fix a car. I'm, I'm the guy who comes in from the manufacturer with a different information to fix the car. So, what we have right now is, and you've probably seen all the chatter on the internet, um, this 2.0 software. Yeah. It will fix a lot of problems, but it's not the holy grail of fixing Fisker. That I'll be quite candid about. It's still got some holes in it. We've still got some more software to redo. We've got a little bit more to revisit, but it will make the car markedly improved. Okay. Which you, again, which you as the end user need to be aware of. For sure. Um, so, if you could just let me know who this kid is, I'm going to fire an email into senior management. Let them know I've spoken to you. Let them know that it's your car. Yes, car. The car will be back today. We're picking it up from him today, so it'll be back here in maybe two hours. All right, perfect. I will then schedule. This is actually saving me because I've got cust the senior management just told me scrub my schedule. Take care of this. Wow. And um, I've got I've got customers who are aligned, who are also you know issued customers, yeah. and I'm like I'm whole. I wanted to speak to you before I started canceling customers and rescheduling, but I believe we you and I can have a conversation and schedule this appropriately. 
So, and that's what I'd like to achieve. Okay, that sounds good. Um, so if you could just bear with me, give me a couple of days, send me that information, and I'll take care of the rest of the Okay, great. Sounds uh, good. Sounds good. And then you can you can text me. Thank you. Much appreciate. It. Thank you. Bye. Take care for now. See you. So what happened with that conversation is uh, MKHBD, this guy, did a, he borrowed our Fisker. Two million views on the Tesla. This one got 1.1 million views. So he shouts us out. I'm struggling on how to start this video just because I, this might be the, the single weirdest automotive reviewing experience I've ever had. And I was trying to think of maybe there's a superlative to explain it. Like, oh, this is the, this is the weirdest car I've ever tried. Or this, this is the quirkiest car. Uh, that I've used so far, but I think it's just the worst car I've ever tested. Mm -hmm. But that, that's why it's not the ways you're expecting. So this car behind me here, this is the Fister. That's oh, why it's, that guy from Senior Management's calling me right now. Car, pretty new company, new name anyway. 